everybody and welcome back to my channel it is a monday morning today i'm filming another productive monday in my life video and i'm about to go and do my workout to start off this video or have my breakfast and my coffee i've just been doing some work on my laptop and now it is workout time so i thought i'd show you guys my little outfit today because it's super fun and cute so this is my workout outfit that I'm wearing. I'm just wearing this lime green sports bra from Gymshark and then these fit leggings from Gymshark as well. They have like the thick band that goes across. That is the exact same lime green color, okay? We're here for this coordination. I love to see it. And then I'm just wearing my Nike little shoes and we're gonna go do a workout. I'm gonna follow along with the Heather Robinson workout that I saw. It was like a strength and cardio kind of shindig sounded like a good time so we're gonna do that let's go work out to start off today on a high note i don't want to stay here no ain't gonna keep it low now if you want to go let's go let's wrap it up and hit the road i just got an awesome vibe striking the wind up post now and got ready and now I'm doing something new something new in my productive life which is I have started learning some lessons on Skillshare Skillshare is sponsoring today's video so thank you Skillshare for sponsoring so excited about this because I love learning and honestly like I do miss school sometimes I miss learning new things I love learning more about what I do as a creative which is why I love Skillshare because they offer so many classes online for creatives like me and like probably a bunch of you guys because I feel like everybody can be a creative whether you're an amateur or a pro whether you do it just for fun you're a doodler there's nothing wrong with learning a new skill and growing your creativity and learning new habits. I'm currently learning productivity for creatives build a system that brings out your best by Thomas Frank it's super interesting it's all about how to create a professional mindset, how to organize your space, when to delegate, all about collaborations and delegations, basically all about kind of like what I do, but how to handle what I do in a very productive mindset, which I'm always trying to grow and learn new things so that I don't get overwhelmed as easily. So Skillshare is an online learning community filled with classes for creatives who want to learn a new skill and just broaden their horizons. So Skillshare offers a membership with meaning and connect with the support of fellow creatives and create a community of support and encouragement. It is made specifically for learning. So there is no ads, which is great. You can just get through your lesson without an ad going on because it really is just a website for learning. So when you join, you can actually try it one of Skillshare's live classes so you can connect with really really popular amazing teachers and fellow members who are learning alongside you so I'm gonna have a link in my description in the first 1,000 subscribers to click on the link we'll get one month free to try out Skillshare and broaden your creativity and learn new things and increase your productivity and it's just amazing all right guys i finished off my lesson with skillshare that i wanted to get done and now i'm gonna head to the grocery store i have to get a couple food things and whatnot for the week but i'm so excited i'm finally gonna do my announcement which is that i did get an apartment ah! <laughs> So I am so excited and I will be living alone. I've never lived alone in my life. So this is going to be an experience, but I wanted to at least live alone for a portion of my life. I want to experience that, that independence, that just having a space that is completely your own 
really excites me and I'm so pumped. So I'm not gonna show you guys anything yet. I might just do a little sneak peek like photo or something, but I'm gonna keep it until I can do the empty apartment tour, which should be in August because I am going in the beginning of August to go and have a little tour of everything. I'm not moving until September, so you're gonna have to stay tuned to September for the moving vlogs. Throughout the next couple months, I'm gonna start slowly buying things for the apartment. I already bought my first thing in the mail which is my bedding for my new bed that I'm gonna also have to order I have to order a lot of stuff okay we need new bedroom furniture and I need to get new office furniture and I need to get counter stools and all this kind of stuff it is in Toronto I feel like a lot of people were wondering if I was gonna move to Vancouver and Vancouver is in my like five-year goal but for right now I just want to live in Toronto eventually yes I would love to live in Vancouver for a bit as well but for right now we're just going to Toronto so I'm still pretty close to home and I'm just really excited. It is a small apartment, like it's not anything super big, it's just one bedroom plus den. Not super huge or anything, so it's gonna be definitely like me trying to organize how I'm gonna lay everything out for this, but I'm just so excited to bring you guys along throughout this whole like apartment moving and buying stuff and just all of it. It's gonna be so exciting and I just can't wait for this like next stage in my life to finally have my own little place. Let's go to the grocery store, get our groceries and give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for apartment content because I know I am. I'm literally like so excited. <laughs> back and I thought I would give you guys a little grocery haul of what I picked up today. So starting on the right, I'm feeling my um, oatmeal path coming back to me for my breakfast. I used to love oatmeal. I, if you didn't know me, I go through like phases with food. It's kind of ridiculous, but sometimes I'll eat oatmeal. Sometimes then I won't eat it for like three months and then I'll want to eat it again. So I got some of the creamy coconut superfood oatmeal. This one is really good by Nature's Path and then to go in it, blueberries and blackberries i love berries and oatmeal and then i add some brown sugar and it's delicious so i got that i got some more of my favorite kiwis these ones the sun gold ones Oof. if you haven't tried these they are amazing i picked up some more nectarines which are my favorite fruit three things of annie's macaroni and cheese always good for like a quick lunch and i love them like they're, these ones are just better i'm not always honest with people it's like you have to get organic but it just tastes better than Crafton or anything like that, if I'm being honest, like it's way better. So love these, got some little tomatoes, some rye bread, some bagels, some more spinach for sandwiches and salads and smoothies and everything. Some cold cuts, just a little bag of the Hard Bite rock salt and vinegar chips. They're so delicious. Three cans of tuna for like salads and stuff like that. A cucumber. And then for some reason, even though it's 30 degrees out today, I was craving soup. So I got a cream of tomato soup from Amy's Organic. And then I also got some minestrone soup from Habitat. Picked up some more of my mayonnaise for my sandwiches. Got some Boom Chicka Pop popcorn, always good. Some Love Crunch Organic dark chocolate. This is like a cereal, but it's just really good to have as a snack. It tastes so good. And then some more of my Silk Oat Milk. And that's everything that I picked up. I'm gonna put this all away now and then make like a second lunch because I'm really hungry. I feel like I haven't eaten enough this morning yet. So I'm thinking of making soup in a sandwich. That sounds exactly like what I want in my life right now. I'm so excited. I got a package from my favorites, Tropica. They're one of my favorite brands. You guys know I love their protein for in my smoothies. So they gave me a little stock up and sent some of their new products. So I got one of the superfood greens plus vitamin D. I missed this so much. This is one I can put in my green smoothies. It's so good. So it has a bunch of superfoods in it, such as barley grass, wheat grass, lemon juice powder, kale. Oh my God, so much stuff. Spirulina, so much stuff in here. So it's got a lot of really good vitamins in it. Then my two favorite protein flavors, the salted caramel and the vanilla. And they sent me these jumbo bags. Like these things are huge. And then they also sent me some of their new like supplements that they came out with. So they have a body and liver cleanse, contains burdock and yellow dock, 
contains burdock and yellow dock, traditionally used in Western herbal medicine. And then they have the relax and to sleep range, which I definitely want to try. So it says it contains valerian, traditionally used in Western herbal medicine. And then it also has a hair complex to help support hair health. So I'm so excited about all of these. Thank you, Tropika. <sighs> I just put all of the recycling and garbage away for tomorrow. That was exhausting. It's one of the things I'm not looking forward to when I have my own place is that I'm gonna have to do that all the time. I'm not really a fan of doing the garbage. I'm not really a fan. I did get some new products though from Dr. Jot, which I'm quite excited about. Especially these ceramidin, ceramidin, I'm assuming they're like ceramide products. So they have the moisture retention shield cream and then the eye cream, which sounds amazing. There's also this really cool collagen face mask from them, which sounds so good. And then some of these Sika Pear products, which has tiger grass in it, which is supposed to be really calming and neutralizing for like redness and skin and stuff like that. So I'm super excited. Thank you, Dr. Jart for sending these over. I always love new skincare and like keeping my stash stocked up. I also have a new product here that I just made that I'm testing out. And let me just say it's delicious. And when I can share more info on this product, I totally will, but it's creamy deliciousness in a mug. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Hello everybody. It is later now. Me and my mom are heading to HomeSense to have another look because now I can officially start buying things for my apartment, which is so exciting. I got my bedding today and I'm gonna look and see if they have any cute like pots. <laughs> Pants. Ooh, exciting. But I'm just gonna have a look and see what is there, what's happening up in Home Sense's area. And yeah, I'm excited. Please ignore the lump on my lip. I'm pretty sure I got bit by something up north. I'm literally covered in bug bites and I think something also bit my lip. And it's swollen now, just in one spot. So that's great. But yeah, we are just heading there now and I'll fill you guys in if I find anything that I like. I was going to get these plates, but we were too slow and now they don't have enough. I kind of want to get a set of six of whatever I get. I feel like that would be a good amount, but they only have five here. So it doesn't look like it's happening. Those ones are pretty, but they're definitely just for the spring. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This is so hard. I don't like these. Yeah, these are nice, but I don't know. I'm picky, this is the problem. I like the bowls. <laughs> I have this giant calendar here, which literally is amazing. I kind of want to get this to put above my desk, but it has a whole like monthly calendar, notes, your priorities for the day, more notes, upcoming. Come on. And it's only $40. A bargain. All right, that was like successful-ish. My mom got a kitchen rug thingy and I got a fruit bowl. <laughs> my mom found it like buried within the dishes and it was honestly like the perfect fruit bowl. Like I'm so excited to display my fruit on my island with my fruit How bowl. How much was it? I don't even remember. It was cheaper than the other one, I think. My whole bill came to like $40. So that bowl was like, Twenty bucks. So I got a really nice bowl, and then I also just got like a standard pot just to make pasta in or what have you. So I picked up that as well. But I was just saying to my mom that I feel like the last time that I moved out, if you guys have been following me for a while, you would know when I moved out last time. I feel like I was kind of just like rushed, and I just bought everything. Like I wasn't really picky. Well, like now I feel like I'm more picky, and I want to get stuff that I actually really like. Like I don't want to just get any shower curtain. Like I'm like I want to get a shower curtain that I really really like. Definitely being more picky about it, but I think that's for the best. And I feel like the outcome of the apartment decor is gonna be a lot better that way. They did have a really nice rug there that I was thinking for underneath my bed because in my bed I want to do like a wooden kind of like warm bed. My bedding is very like light and neutral, but has like a slight warmth to it and like the sheets and stuff so i kind of want to do like warm beiges like terracotta cream mixed in the bedroom so i don't think i vlogged the rug but i'll insert a picture of it let me know what y'all think of it though it'll probably be gone by the time i go back because that's what home says is like but at least then i have like an idea of what kind of rug yeah, I like i'd want to get like what colors and i kind of liked those colors for the bedroom i feel like that would look really nice so let me know. I think me and my mom are going to Yorkdale Mall 
later this week and I want to go to some of the nicer like kitchen and home stores that they have there because I really want to get some appliances like little ones and and that kind of stuff I need to get like a whole utensil thing like this person <laughs> my mom's having a great time driving today everyone's cutting her off it's just not your day we got home just in time a huge thunderstorm is rolling into town it's getting windy out here I just washed my face. This lighting is gonna be horrendous. <laughs> it's pink, I'm pink. I just washed my face, did all my skincare, have my pajamas on, and I'm about to heat up a pizza for my dinner. And that's my exciting Monday evening right now. <laughs> it is the next day I am in a different place at a different home sense this place like where I'm at right now has a bunch of home stuff so it's got like home sense Claire, which I've never been to so I'm gonna go in there and just you know have a look it's also got kitchen stuff plus which I want to look at it's got everything okay everything is around here so we're gonna do some more home shopping I went through my bins that I have this morning and I kind of had an idea of what I'm missing which is basically everything I think all I have is a can opener definitely gonna have to have a browse and pick up some more stuff my outfit today is really cute I'm wearing all brown so I have this little crop top on from Princess Polly and then these shorts are from Princess Polly as well it is so hot out today it is like 32 degrees it's already heating up in this car me just sitting here with the air conditioning off so let us go in and have a peruse of what's in there. So I've been having a little browse around. I found some things, some scissors, measuring cups, that kind of stuff. I don't know, it's like hard to pick out stuff that I would want to get. Like I'm very indecisive. <laughs> I'm looking for like a little sugar bowl, but I don't really see anything. They have a bunch of like storage stuff. I don't know, Home Sense sometimes is hard to navigate because there's just stuff everywhere. And sometimes it's difficult to know like what to get, you know? Too much stuff, too little time. So I did find some towels that I thought were cute, but they did kind of have like a color pattern to them. And I think that I want to do a colored rug in my apartment. So I feel like colored towels, colored rug, that'd be like a lot. So I didn't get those, but I did get some kitchen stuff. I'm about to go into Beauclair currently, which I've never been in before. So we'll see what this is all about. though I have coffee pods like I don't really have coffee beans I mean I guess I could put the pods in here but it doesn't really make sense so that's kind of what's holding me back because I don't know what I would put in here but it is cute I need like a sugar container for my brown sugar I also like this one it's got like the chalk thing cute I don't know though it's very hard to make decisions up in here <laughs> all right guys that was pretty successful I ended up just getting like a bunch of kitchen stuff for the most part so like all kitchen utensils just like things I need to cook that's basically all I got <laughs> yeah that is literally all I got I didn't really get anything decorative because I don't know at these places I don't really love everything and I would rather spend a bit more money on decor pieces for the kitchen so didn't really get much in that sense but I did get a bunch of like spatulas and cutting boards and scissors and all that stuff that you just need to cook in a kitchen so for that stuff i'm fully stocked now which is quite good and exciting i still need to get like a knife set though did you know knife sets are really expensive because um yeah i learned that when i looked them up and because i do like to cook i want to get a good knife set they go all the way up to like a thousand dollars for a knife set i'm like okay that's a, little, that's a little extreme. I don't think I'm gonna start a cooking show, so I don't think I need a thousand dollar knife set, but I do want nice knives, so. But we're gonna head back home now. I'm starving, I wanna make lunch, and I miss my dogs. Let's go home, that was successful. We got some kitchen stuff, and honestly, I bought so much stuff, and it was in total, I think for both places, $200, and I bought so much. Definitely check out like outlet stores, because you'll save a ton of money, a ton of money doing that. 
let's go home. I'm back home and I just made myself the yummiest looking bagel sandwich. So I literally just wanted to film it to show it to you all because it looks so good and I'm so hungry and this has never looked more appetizing in my entire life than it does right now. I wanted to finish off this video by doing a little kitchen haul of what I picked up. So just a bunch of kitchen stuff for like really good prices. So first up from HomeSense, I got these two pots. They're by the brand Green Pan. They said they're like a healthy ceramic non-stick brand and they actually you can use metal utensils with these as well. So I got a small one and then the larger sized one. I also just liked that they weren't black because I feel like most pans are black and I kind of prefer like a lighter finish. So I really liked these. I got two different cutting boards. So I got a wooden one for like fruits and veggies and then for cutting up meat and stuff like that, I got a plastic one. I just feel like it's more sanitary in my brain. I don't know if that's true, but in my brain, it feels more sanitary. <laughs> and I just got little ones because I don't think my drawers are that big in my unit. So I didn't want to get like huge cutting boards. Then I got these measuring cups. I liked the blue color. Hello, Jamie Oliver. And I also picked up these really cute measuring utensils they're one of the only ones that came like actually attached to each other which i preferred so i don't lose one so i picked up that i got this pair of scissors which looked really nice i just liked the color of them a little bit more girly for the kitchen which i obviously like i got another pot just like a little small one i have another pot up there so two pots that's basically all i need then I got a wine opener, obviously uh, essential for wine nights. So I picked this up. I went with a more expensive one because I didn't want one that was gonna be crap. And honestly, I'm really bad at opening bottles of wine. So I hoped that this would help me. <laughs> then I picked up these cute, I kinda wanna go back and get another one, but they're like these barista glasses that are glass. Um, I wanted some see-through mugs because I just really love the look of it with my coffee and whatnot. So I got this, I love them. I also got these little, um, containers to store stuff in so my plan is I'm gonna have one for my brown sugar one for white sugar one for my rice and then the other one I don't know yet <laughs> maybe flour we'll see something's gonna go in the other one but for right now it's just white sugar brown sugar rice and then something else but I love like storage containers like this it keeps everything really nice and organized it also keeps a lot of stuff fresher because it's sealed properly instead of having the bag slightly open so I picked up these and everything was super cheap like I think this was like $15 this was like $10 or something nuts then I just picked up some utensils this is all I have right now so I have this little spaghetti one cute stainless steel in a soup ladle ooh Love that i love making soups so i thought that was really cute i also got this spatula even though it's metal resistant i got a plastic one anyways because i don't want to ruin my pan so i picked up this one it looks really good so it should be good and then i picked up two strainer pots a smaller one and a larger one for like pasta and whatnot and that's everything that i picked up if you guys can think of any kitchen stuff that i'm missing that I will 100% need, let me know, because I forget everything. So. But yeah, I'm gonna end off today's video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you can think of anything in a apartment or house that isn't essential to you that I'm gonna forget, please comment it down below because <laughs> the shopping has just begun and I feel like there's things I'm not gonna think of that I'm gonna need. So if you could let me know, that would be amazing. <laughs> but I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.